like, share and subscribe. Wedding video. A video presentation of your wedding can become the most entertaining memory of your wedding day. It's a crucial part of your wedding and you should treat it accordingly. You've many options to have your wedding videographed. You can have a friend or family do it for you or you can hire a professional. If you hire a professional you need to consider several issues. You need to make sure you are hiring an experienced person. You should view their previous work and ask for sample footage. On the demo you want to look for clarity and an overall feel for the work. The steadiness of the camera is another point to consider. Make sure you understand what's included in the final product you are purchasing. Is it a DVD? What's the expected duration of the video? How many cameras are used to produce the movie? Ask to see if you can include photos and other video footage. Make sure you can select the music you want. Will they provide you with the raw footage so you can later edit it yourself? It's best if the videographer is familiar with the wedding ceremony and reception venue. Ask to see if they're willing to visit the location prior to the wedding to become familiar with the place. The visit should give the person clues about angles, lighting and other important factors. Be sure the videographer understands the schedule of your wedding. Explain to them the most important aspect to the wedding. They have to understand what's the most important to you. Perhaps there are certain people or places that you want him to emphasize. The more they understand what you are looking for in the video the better they are equipped to make the most memorable product for you. Your wedding is a once in a lifetime experience so do everything you can to preserve the moment. Wedding anniversary gifts by mail. Have you ever wondered how the tradition of giving wedding anniversary gifts began? It is said that the earliest wedding anniversary gifts were silver garlands given by Germanic husbands to their wives on the 25th anniversary. History also shows that some European countries celebrated half of that time, 12.5 years of marriage with gifts of copper. Around 1875 wood seems to have come into vogue as a fifth wedding anniversary gift. Wedding anniversary gifts by mail were undoubtedly rare in those days. The postal service itself was unreliable. Couples who wanted to celebrate their marriage by giving one another gifts often had to choose between making gifts or purchasing at the general store. Times have changed dramatically and we now can not only purchase wedding anniversary gifts by mail we can order them electronically on the internet. My bump of curiosity stirred a desire today to see what was available. Here are the first seven anniversary gifts I found. Seven ideas for wedding anniversary gifts by mail. 1. Paper. I began with the first wedding anniversary gift wondering what ideas would fit the traditional paper gift idea. It was easy to find paper for a husband to give. A framed family tree with her name added. He might have to research and get information from his parents. A bride of one year would appreciate his thoughtfulness and the renewed knowledge that she had been added to his family tree would be a wonderful wedding anniversary gift. He can order a family tree online at most of the genealogy websites. She could give him paper tickets to a sports event that he would love and go with her even if she doesn't share his love for sports. Ticket wedding anniversary gifts are easily found at Ticketmaster. 2. Cotton. For the second wedding anniversary gift, cotton shirts or cotton sheets would be good choices. Order quality cotton shirts from Land's End and have them monogrammed. You can order quality sheets from there too. Either gift would be appropriate for one to give the other or sit down together and make out your order. All are gifts by mail. 3. Glass. One choice for the third wedding anniversary gift was glass and I found unique beautiful glass butterfly pendants at Solstice Glass. He could order these by mail and she would never know he had gone shopping. Each glass butterfly pendant is hand-blown and contains a beautiful, realistic butterfly perched atop a lovely flower. Solstice glass has other shapes too of course a good variety of handcrafted glass. A wife can shop at Solstice glass, too and make her husband's third wedding anniversary gift a hand-blown, one-of-a-kind glass marble. He can carry it with him daily as a reminder of her love for fruit, flowers and silk. The traditional wedding anniversary gift for the fourth anniversary is listed as fruit and flowers. I knew immediately that I could order delicious fruit and beautiful flowers at a place like Gift Tree. Then I noticed that one of the modern choices for this anniversary is silk. You could combine the two and order a beautiful quality silk fruit tree or silk flowers. They would last longer than real fruit or flowers. You can find silk pomegranate trees at USI Floral. 
Since pomegranates are often called the fruit of love and these trees are filled with the beautiful red fruit he might order this wedding anniversary gift by mail. She might order him a silk Hawaiian shirt with flowers or fruit in the design. Hawaii Tropicals is one of many places online that will ship this wedding anniversary gift by mail. 5. Wood. Wood Cutting Boards is a good website to visit for fifth wedding anniversary gifts by mail. Either chef would appreciate the choice of cutting boards they offer. Their hardwood mugs are also beautiful for either husband or wife. If there is any doubt about the strength of the marriage a new wooden rolling pin is not recommended. 6. Iron. Although sugar is also a traditional sixth wedding anniversary gift you might want to think in terms of durable gifts rather than consumables. The two of you could choose a wrought iron love seat for your garden from Furniture Central. If you enjoy golf, give each other new iron sets. At Golfsmith, you can order this wedding anniversary gift to be sent by mail. 7. Wool. Even if your wedding anniversary gift celebrates a summer wedding you know that either one of you would enjoy a gift of wool from the New Zealand Nature Company. Wool pillows and comforters are cozy in the winter but cool in the summer. Wool slippers and boots are just as wonderful. They insulate you as they insulate the sheep. Order these wedding anniversary gifts by mail and you will have the joy of celebrating with gifts from a different hemisphere. You can of course go to your local mall and buy a gift. But when you order wedding anniversary gifts by mail you can shop the entire world for the perfect gift. You can keep your shopping a secret and surprise the one you love. Please note, the author is not employed by any of the merchants mentioned above. She receives no commission from them and will not profit financially if the reader orders from one or more of them. Wedding reception seating tips. Seating during your wedding reception is more important than it seems. You want your guests to feel comfortable and for that seating is critical. You can shape how much fun everyone has since you can choose the best seating positions for your guests. Divorced parents and people you know who hate each other are best kept apart from each other. To begin your wedding reception seating plan you'll first need to know how many tables you will set up at your wedding reception as well as how many chairs will be at each table. To find this out contact your wedding reception facility and make sure to also ask them for a chart of where the tables will be at your wedding reception. Although your seating chart should be prepared early you shouldn't finalize it until about two weeks prior to the date of your wedding reception. Place card holders are not only attractive decorations but they provide a great way to help your wedding guests with the seating. Your guests should be able to quickly find their seat. Each card should have the guests or couple's names. Seat people with similar interests at the same table. Think of a unique and fun way to identify each table. Seat wedding guests of similar ages together. Seat family members who don't see each other often to help them catch up on the latest family matters. You should only seat family members together if they like each other. Use place card holders to help your guest find their seats. Seat an even number of guests at each table. Your wedding reception guests who enjoy dancing close to the dance floor. To avoid possible conflicts, divorced parents should have their own tables. Seat them separately with their respective family members. Keep small children next to their parents. Don't worry about a seating chart for a cocktail-only wedding reception. If it's a very small party you can skip the seating chart altogether for a formal dinner reception. A seating chart is essential. Don't wait until the last minute to decide who should sit at which table. Proper seating is hard work and it requires careful planning. Wedding reception events. The wedding ceremony is finally over and the last picture at the ceremony site has finally been taken. It's time to celebrate. The reception is often the aspect of the wedding that receives the most planning. It's also the aspect that receives most of the budget. Below is a short guide to the events at the reception. For more great reception ideas be sure to visit www.bradalblog.info Usually while the wedding party is taking pictures, the guests head over to the reception site. If there is going to be a sit-down dinner and the budget allows it is very thoughtful and a wonderful idea to have some drinks and hors d'oeuvre waiting for your guests to enjoy. Depending on the photographer this waiting period can be up to an hour. In addition to enjoying some refreshments guests can also sign the guest book and leave gifts on a designated table. If the reception is buffet in style many brides and groom opt to allow guests to eat before the couple arrives at the reception. 
The only issue I have with this practice is that people will often leave before the bride and groom arrive. If you don't want to open the buffet before your arrival again the beverages and hors d'oeuvre are a good idea. When the bridal party arrives the DJ or other speaker announces the grand entrance. The wedding party comes in first and the newlyweds come in last. Everyone's name is announced. If desired the relationship to the couple may be stated as well. There are still some couples who want to have a receiving line so that they will see all of those who came to help them celebrate. If you would like to have a receiving line do so as soon as you arrive. Again if you don't have the receiving line as soon as you arrive people will leave. Ones everyone is at the reception toasts are made. The traditional toasters are the best man and parents of the bride and groom. This is the parents opportunity to formally thank all of their guests for coming. The first dances are a tradition that endures to this day. Usually the husband and wife start off the dancing and number one else dances before them. In addition to the newlyweds, the bride and her father as well as the groom and his mother often share a dance. Two other traditions at receptions are cutting the cake and tossing the bouquet and garter. The couple would be wise to discuss covering each other's faces in cake versus making a clean exchange before the wedding. Even with this discussion, beware. The final event of the reception is the final dance. After the final dance the bride and groom leave the reception. The guests shortly follow and then the parents all collapse in a big heap. It has been a long day but didn't we all have fun? Wedding reception location. The wedding reception site you select affect the atmosphere for your entire celebration. Everything from your invitations, your dress the food that is served and the music will be impacted by the location for your wedding reception. Therefore finding the right location should be on the very top of your wedding planning list. Before you begin your search you should know at least approximately how many guests you would like to invite. You can change a lot about a venue but there is nothing you can do about capacity. If you can't seat everybody on your list you need to find another venue. The manager should be able to inform you of the maximum capacity of the place. Another essential factor is your first impression. First impression is so important that if you hate the place at first it's unlikely you would enjoy celebrating your most special day there. You don't have to get married in a hotel or country club, or any of the obvious places. There are a variety of possibilities for exciting wedding receptions. Historic buildings or exotic beach destination weddings are a couple of examples of out-of-the-ordinary wedding locations. Whatever location you chose be sure you understand what is included. Some venues quote you with food, some without. Others may include the furniture such as chairs and tables and you may have to provide it yourself at other locations. Make sure you understand if the cake is included how much staff is provided of food and beverages included etc. Make sure you understand exactly what is and is not included. Don't assume anything. The cost of a reception venue can add up based on what is or isn't included. Try to bargain and make sure the management understand that you are considering several other places. Make sure everything is in writing. It protects you and the venue to have everything in writing. Wedding speeches 101 If you are planning a wedding or planning on being in one then the question of wedding speeches is bound to come up. Who gives the speeches? Well this is really up to the couple that's getting married, but there seems to be a normal list of people that are expected to say something. The wedding party usually has the most members talking about the bride or the groom. The best man and matron or maid of honor are the ones that will be giving short speeches before dinner in most cases. Other members of the party can also speak if the couple chooses. The father of the bride usually gives a speech to the guests thanking them for coming as well as saying a word or two to the groom. The couple themselves may also want to talk to the guests giving them thanks and their love. Of course the reception isn't the only place for speeches. Many times the wedding rehearsal has one or two of the couple's parents speaking as well. As many people as the couple wants can speak but what if you are the one that's asked? Before you stand up. If you are asked to give a speech no doubt you are nervous and at a loss for what to say. The best advice is to keep your speech short and simple so that your nerves don't have time to take over and so that your creativity isn't sapped. Make a list of all of the things that you admire and love about the couple or half of the couple. If you've been friends for a while you may want to include a joke or a story. The best advice is to keep the story clean though their parents may not want to know what they've done. 
talk about the person and then end with some sort of revelation or note of congratulation. Raise your glass and toast the couple. It's really as easy as that. If you're afraid that you'll become nervous make sure that to rehearse the speech often writing it well in advance. Or you can just focus on your friend as you give the speech and avoid making eye contact out into the reception crowd. Speeches are a wonderful way to give thanks to the guest and to members of the new couple. Use your heart as a guide and you are sure to get it right wedding words intimate vows behind closed doors. Wedding words. Why is it that every wedding message given to the future bride and groom always begins with those famous wedding words like this is going to be the most special day of your life or that your wedding is an occasion to be remembered for a long time to come? Well the reason behind those precious sayings is because it is. Why is the wedding supposed to be the most special day in your life we all ask well that backquote s easy this is where you pledge your undying love for your partner till death do us part. Take the wedding words or vows a very special part of all wedding ceremonies where the happy couple get to say what it is they really feel for each other heaven forbid if you had a tiff earlier or a minor disagreement. The exchange of the gold wedding band makes the service extra special if the couple who are to be joined together in holy matrimony have personalized their wedding words. So why not make your day unique by having your wedding words tailor made by you so as to speak? How can pre-written wedding vows by a stranger express what it is you really want to say? Wedding words can be simple so don't be put off. If you find it hard to put your feelings down on a piece of paper ask a very close friend to help you with personalizing your written words. Intimacy portrayed in your vows should be limited till a more appropriate time, like behind closed doors. But the more intimate the message the more attention from the audience. In a nutshell a wedding message will always be a part of the wedding ceremony to be remembered till eternity. And if we want to guarantee this occasion to be special and remembered then add a touch of uniqueness to your wedding activities. This could be something in the church or at your wedding venue the choice is yours. Unique means unique why not have the groom walk down the aisle to you or both together it breaks with tradition but you've to admit it is certainly different. One ask the wedding guests not to give a wedding favor instead ask for a small donation for charity. To have a contest on the night for the best dressed guest. Let the guest know of this competition on their wedding invitation this will give them chance to decide on what to wear. Not everyone can be a winner but you are because you've just added the touch of uniqueness by the way of having a wedding with the best turned out audience like that of the awards. Don back quote t forget the red carpet for all the guests to walk on when entering the wedding venue this will make them feel extra special just like your wedding day. 3 if your budget allows invite a celebrity along to sing at the wedding venue the lyrics of the song will certainly be wedding words that will never be forgotten. The options are endless to make your wedding day special and stay forever in your thoughts. Wedding preparations carefully planned will make your dream come true when those precious wedding words are spoken specially remembered from this day forward. Unique wedding gifts for parents of the bride and groom. Many engaged couples wish to show appreciation to their parents for funding their big day yet struggle with finding ideas for such a meaningful gift. Fortunately, there are many options for unique wedding gifts for parents of the bride and groom. Personalized gifts. One idea is to produce a personalized wedding gift for parents. Personalized items provide a special memento of love and family history. Engraved frames with a heartfelt message and memorable photo will be cherished for years to come. Personal jewelry items such as a locket or cufflinks with the wedding date engraved are another option. Plaques with a special poem can be displayed with pride as a reminder of the merging of two families. Holiday ornaments may be engraved with couples' names. A framed representation of the family tree with the new son daughter included is another option. Classic gifts. Another idea is to give a classic item made from precious materials. The bride and groom may wish to give the timeless gift of crystal in the form of a clock or vase. Silver candlestick holders or a serving piece provide another option. Creative gifts. Couples may wish to exercise their special talents by creating their own unique wedding gift for their parents. A handcrafted scrapbook chronicling the journey from childhood to marriage will bring tears to a parent's eyes. A handmade quilt would become an instant family heirloom. Pottery, lovingly created or painted will hold a place of honor on the mantle of the family home. Gift certificates. Yet another option is to give the gift of relaxation. 
After months of stressful and expensive wedding planning, most parents of the bride and groom would appreciate a gift certificate for a relaxing spa treatment or weekend getaway. Couples can get creative and research local recreational activities, bed and breakfasts and formal dining options. Wedding mementos. Once married, the bride and groom can provide parents with a special photo album with candid shots of the wedding preparations, ceremony and honeymoon. Regardless of the wedding gift that a couple decides to give their parents the heartfelt message of gratitude will be clearly and lovingly communicated. Why wedding checklist is important. Is a wedding checklist important? Why do you need it? Do you think everything you have on your mind will be ready on your big day? Don't you think of the opportunities of missing something? If you don't have a wedding checklist you are asking for trouble. No matter how good your memory is you'd be very unwise to rely on it for every little detail you've to remember concerning your wedding. In such an important day for you it would be a crying shame if it was spoiled simply because you failed to plan properly in the first place and a properly constructed checklist is the very best way you can ensure that all of your wedding plans come to fruition. Creating a wedding checklist tailored to your specific needs and desires will certainly help to relieve the inevitable stress, particularly as the special day gets closer. Having a well-thought-out wedding checklist will ensure that you don't forget anything and will enable you to relax safe in this knowledge and enjoy the day itself. Here are some of the things you should put on your checklist to setting the wedding date and time, reserving the date with a florist, photographer and DJ, reserving the church and reception location. These are the first things that should be done in the planning stages 6 to 12 months before the wedding day itself. Other important things for your checklist include planning a budget, choosing the wedding party and ordering the invitations. You also need to make arrangements for a wedding dress, hairdressing and makeup. Not forgetting that you also need to arrange for co-coordinated clothing for your wedding attendants and of course you need to arrange the all-important wedding rings with a jeweler. It's necessary that all of the above major things should be arranged as early as possible so that you have plenty of time for the small details later. Reminders are helpful. Don't forget to ensure that you put reminders on your list for closer to the date. Reminders for ordering your wedding flowers the wedding cake, addressing and sending invitations a final fitting for the wedding dress and groom's outfit and placing a wedding announcement in the local press etc. About a month to six weeks before your big day you should go over your wedding checklist to make absolutely sure you haven't forgotten anything. There are of course many more things than those listed above that you'll need to put on your specific wedding planning checklist that are personal to your wedding but the above will give you an idea of the things you need to include. Being well organized with your checklist will help you having plenty of time to complete each task. With this checklist, your wedding will be as what you've dreamed. Wedding favors with a difference. Traditional weddings are rapidly making way for more off-the-wall innovative weddings. Sugared almonds and bonbonier are being replaced by alternatives such as CD wedding favors. Also as many more couples are choosing to tie the not abroad beach theme wedding favors are becoming increasingly popular. For some couples the choice to marry abroad is driven by the cost of a huge wedding not to mention the time they have to wait to secure a venue. For others it's purely to tie the wedding in with the honeymoon. Some couples base their decision on family feuds and choose to marry alone overseas without family members interfering with their big day. Whatever people's rationale behind the choice a wedding is as individual and unique as a person and this should be very much reflected throughout. Whether marrying abroad alone with friends and family or having a reception on your return you need to think about wedding favors for your guests. Beach theme wedding favors come in a huge variety and there continues to increase as more couples opt for beach weddings. You may choose to give them to your guests on the day or you may choose to give them to guests back home who could not travel to enjoy your special day. By giving beach theme wedding favors, family and friends can feel very much a part of your beach wedding even if they were not there to experience it in person. CD wedding favors are also a fantastic way of involving guests in your special day. For those who attend you could put together a soundtrack of you and your partner's favorite songs, or perhaps the song that you for your first dance. Alternatively if you choose to marry without family and friends present you may record your vows on a DVD. On your return home you can give your CD wedding favors to your nearest and dearest who will instantly feel a part of your wonderful day.
My husband and I chose to marry abroad and there was nothing more fantastic than saying our vows with sand between our toes. We took family with us, and because of the nature of the wedding we opted for beach theme wedding favors for our small party on the day. Of course many loved family members and friends were not able to join us on our special day so we supplied them with beach theme wedding favors and a CD wedding favor of the event. Wedding decorations, making your wedding day beautiful. Usually the task of choosing the wedding decorations is delegated to the bride and the female members of the family and entourage. However it's still preferred that the groom should also help in conceptualizing the decorations to be used for the wedding. Here are some aspects to consider when deciding on what decorations to be used in the wedding. Mood. Will the wedding be formal or casual? Do you want it to be traditional or contemporary? This will help in deciding what candles, flowers, balloons and other venue enhancements will you be needing. Color scheme. Consider the main color to be used for the decorations. This may be the couple's favorite color a color that can be associated with their hobby or the color that is preferred during the season. Make sure that the color of the decorations will go well with what the members of the entourage and the guests will be wearing. Site. Take pictures of the wedding site as early as possible so that you can check the pictures while considering a decorating idea. Time. Usually decorations can only be set at the church and at the reception within one to two hours before the event. Therefore you must consider decorations that don't take much time to mount. Also these decorations should also be taken down right after the event. Guests. Consider how many will attend the wedding reception and how big is the site. With the number of guests that you'll be having can you still set up bigger decorations that will take some floor space. If you've a large number of guests you may just want to set up floor decorations near the stage and dance floor where most of the program will take place. Also you might want to opt for smaller but finely detailed table decorations. Also consider if there will be kids who will be attending the wedding reception. Kids may get bored during the program and start playing with the decorations that can cause an unsightly mess. So you may just get decorations that are not so fragile. Another tip if you'll be having several kids as guests you may have a kids area where they can mingle with other kids and where the decorations and food are more suited for their age. Budget. Improperly chosen decorating ideas will not look well even if these cost much. Also, choosing just two or three decorating ideas as long as these are implemented well can make a ceremony and reception look lavish. Also it's not necessary to buy every item that will be used as decorations. Some professional decorators can give you information on vases, mirrors, table centerpieces, dried flower arrangements, arcways pedestals and plants that will only be used for one day. With these just adding a few candles, laces and fresh flowers will make your wedding site and reception exquisite. A final budgeting advice, check with the wedding ride venue director if there are other weddings that will take place during the day. If so you may want to coordinate with the couple that will be using the venue before or after you. The may agree with your decorating ideas or add some of their own and agree to just split the decorating expenses with you. Wedding bouquet, on a mission keeping up with tradition. Flower bouquets the buttonhole and centerpieces will always be one of the star attractions at weddings. Flower posy bouquets denote a blossoming maiden which evidently helps reflect her feelings and emotions. The planning of the wedding bouquet takes just as much careful thought behind getting it right for on the day as that of the wedding gown. Whatever race religion, bouquets will still always be seen as a tradition to be kept. The more of nature's natural beauties lining church pews aisles will send out a lingering aromatic fragrance and a vast amount of color to brighten up your day. What to take into consideration when choosing your wedding bouquet? 1. By choosing seasonal flowers you will save time and money, if you insist on blooms out of season then you may find they have to be shipped in from another country. Time is important when you order and receive the flowers, you will want them fresh therefore a stronger sweet smelling scent. 2. If you've silk flowers in mind then better still this way you are guaranteed your particular favorite flower no matter the time of year so no need to put the wedding on hold. 3. Don't make the mistake of letting the bouquet outshine or cover your figure if you are of petite frame the reason being is your posture may be affected thus giving off the wrong image of how your wedding gown should look. If the elegant style of the gown is to stay then make sure to choose pastels instead of strong vibrant colors. Depending on the wedding outfit of course. 
4. Make sure that your flowers still hold up for late afternoon photo shoots should your wedding service take place in the morning. A preferred method by brides to keep the flowers fresh while not posing in front of a camera or piling on the pounds at the wedding feast who cares now you got your man only joking is to have a bouquet holder close at hand. Ask the florist for advice on which flowers will more quickly than others by having this information under your garter you'll at least know the ones to avoid. 5. On your first visit to the flower shop don't let the florist conjure up what they think you've in mind they are not mind readers, it is only you at this point knows what you are looking for. Make it easy on both yourself and the florist by taking a photo of the style and design of the bouquet another good idea is to bring along a sample piece of gown fabric so that the wedding coordinator florist can select the correct shade of flower to complement the wedding dress. Additional touches to bouquets include ribbons lace beads or pearls. 6. Say it with flowers and mean it. Why not choose a flower that has special meaning? Take the stephanotis which stands for happiness in marriage then we have the rose denoting love and being true another fabulous flower is the tulip with a meaning declaring perfect love why not have them all if your betrothed means that much to you. 7. Bouquets are becoming more personalized these days so design yours to suit your personality everyone else is so why not you. Clusters of flowers more widely known as nosegays can vary in sophistication and will fit any personality. Beauty prevails in the flower cascading bouquet which is seen a lot at traditional weddings. Flowers where the stems are wrapped in ribbons are called hand-tied bouquets. It's these bouquets that bring a casual aura more often to garden ceremonies. We also have the contemporary bouquet where flowers are arranged tastefully in a style with no geometric form but still as gorgeous as any other hand-held bridal piece, formally used in sophisticated weddings. 8. If your choice is roses, lilies, orchids, tulips, stephanotis or daisies for your bridal bouquet then you've just picked the top flowers that have dominated many a wedding in the past and in the future to come. Wedding consultants. To hire or not. Wedding consultants or wedding planners are professionals specializing in wedding planning. Your wedding planner can be an organizer, an event planner, a vendor specialist, a project manager, a shrink, or a friend. A wedding planner can work with you to plan your wedding day part-time or full-time. How much time a wedding consultant spends on your wedding is only limited by your budget. A good rule of thumb is not to spend more than 7-10% to of your total wedding budget on a wedding planner. If your wedding budget is $20,000 you should not spend more than $2,000 on your wedding planner. The savings gained from hiring an experienced wedding planner may justify paying for two. Even if you can't afford a wedding planner to plan your entire wedding you may consider meeting one for an hour or two just to get help with the most important things. One of the most important reasons for hiring a wedding planner is to reduce your stress level. Even if you might be able to organize everything from the wedding cake, your reception site, the wedding band and the list goes on, you might be better off with the help of seasoned wedding professional. Your wedding consultant can handle the less glamorous aspects of organizing your wedding such as setting appointments with vendors. When you meet with your wedding planner for the first time come with a plan. The more prepared you are the more your wedding consultant can help. Good preparation will not only save you time but it will save you money. The less time your wedding consultant needs to spend on organizing your wedding the less it will cost. Just because you are working with a consultant it doesn't mean that all you need to do is show up on your wedding day. You should set up a timeline and make sure your goals are met according to schedule. If you enjoy planning events you might plan your entire event without any help from a professional wedding planner. If you are unsure of what needs to be done to organize your special day you might at the very least set up an appointment with a professional wedding planner. You should always ask for references prior to hiring a wedding planner. Wedding bouquet, its importance to your wedding day when a man and a woman are to get married the woman usually wears a long white dress and has her hair all done up fancy with a tiara and veil in it, and then there is the wedding bouquet she usually holds a small bunch of flowers which match her wedding theme, if she is wearing a white dress soft colors often accentuate her not the flowers but some stunning bouquets have been the most vivid of colors and are meant to attract the attention of the guests. The wedding bouquet is usually designed and prepared by the florist although you do have some input on the design and colors. Many women choose lilies and roses as the main flowers in their bouquet. But I think that a little bit of greenery would go a long, long way when it comes to the bouquet. It just adds that extra bit to them. 
The flowers are arranged to make the bouquet small enough to be held in both hands and looks as if it's a bubble over the bride's hands. During the ceremony the bouquet is passed over the maid of honor to hold and is then given back to the bride once the ceremony is over. After the entire ceremony the bride and groom race out of the church down the aisle and out the door once they are outside all the women gang up together and basically fight for the bouquet which is thrown by the bride legend says that if you are the woman who catches the bouquet of the bride you are next to be married. So as you can tell it's definitely a touch competition to get that bouquet with so many other women after it. There are hundreds of flowers plastered all over the church and the reception hall but the bouquet held by the bride is always deemed the prettiest and most important. I have never yet seen a bride walk down the aisle without a bouquet of flowers that haven't been far short of perfect. The flowers just add to the innocence of the bride before she makes that long jump to commitment and the flowers should be given respect. Wedded bliss. Undoubtedly the biggest news in the wedding calendar since 1995 Marriage Act which allowed wedding to take place in any licensed venue, is the Civil Partnership Act. It is clear that the number of gay weddings only represents a tiny piece of, wedding, cake, however the effect on greeting card design trends and the whole feel of cards and stationery for entire wedding market has had a much more significant impact. Although many greeting card publishers are happily producing overtly gay cards it's arguably the subtler changes the Civil Partnership Act has had on the straight wedding card scene that's more interesting. On the design front there appears to be more room for maneuver when it comes to the tone of wedding cards for gay couples, who are considered more likely to appreciate a light-hearted approach. To play it safe many greeting card companies are opting to use simple words to spell out the recipient's relationship for example Mr. and Mr. or Mrs. and Mrs. on another hand, some greeting card publishers has avoided producing designs with obvious same-sex connotations and are instead steering its entire wedding portfolio along more generic lines that are not gender-specific such as two hearts or two champagne flutes. This move towards more generic wedding designs has been a long time coming and it can be argued that the groundbreaking nature of the recent law change is actually just the catalyst for wholesale change in the situation that has been quietly bubbling away for some years. For example the move away from the church as the top venue of choice for wedding in recent years has sounded the disappearance of traditional icons such as churches, bells and crucifixes. One trend that seems to be really influencing the wedding scene no matter what the sex age or previous married status of the newlyweds is the demand on higher priced wedding cards. There is nothing like a wedding to make people to spend more on a greeting card. Once daily people tend to keep their wedding cards to look back on their years so you would like to think you'd send a card worth keeping. Also there is a chance that your card will be read out on the top table so you really want it to be just right because a wedding card is seen as a joint gift for one people. All in all it's been a great year for weddings the floodgates have opened to a new dimensions of wedding card sending occasion and this has really injected a new feeling of vigor and enthusiasm for this high value market. Wedding rings. Choosing the right ones wedding rings have long been a part of the tradition of marriage. The highlight of every wedding ceremony, wedding rings represent a couple's promise of remaining faithful and loyal to each other all the time of their lives. The use of wedding rings date as far back as the time of ancient Egypt when Egyptians create rings from reeds and other plants that grow on the Nile River for couples to exchange symbolizing their never-ending love for each other. Today conventional forms of wedding rings are those that consist of precious metals that are usually worn on the ring finger the fourth finger of the left hand. This practice stemmed out from the belief of the hand-heart connection that a vein of blood from the fourth finger of the left hand goes directly to the heart. Medical science, however has already refuted this claim with their discovery of how the circulatory system works, and although the tradition of wearing the ring on the fourth finger of the left hand still prevails some people now prefers to wear their wedding rings on their right hand. Because wedding rings are the ultimate symbol of lifelong love and commitment it's important that you choose rings of a high quality one that will last for a long time perhaps as enduring as your marriage. Below are some factors to consider when buying wedding rings. 1. Establish your budget. Going into a jewelry store with the idea of how much you are willing to spend and how much you can actually spend for your wedding rings will save you a lot of time. 2. Choose the material. There are numerous wedding ring materials for you to choose from. Some of them are the following. Gold considered as the most traditional wedding ring material. Gold comes in a variety of color yellow gold, pink gold, white gold, green gold and quality 14k, 18k and 24k. 
Platinum considered as one of the finest, purest and rarest precious metals. One of the strongest, heaviest, and the most enduring of all metals, wedding rings made of platinum is ideal to wear every day because it's hypoallergenic, it resists tarnish and it shows little wear. It's however more expensive than gold. Diamonds the hardest substance known to man, diamonds are considered as one of the most luxurious and sought-after gem and wedding ring material with its beauty, purity and durability symbolizing long-lasting love. Note that the value of a diamond is determined by the four C's, cut, clarity, color, and carat weight. Other materials that are used for wedding rings include metals such as titanium, tungsten carbide and nickel silver and precious gems such as ruby, sapphire, emerald and topaz. 3. Choose the style. Wedding rings also come in different styles and designs, such as the following. Celtic, Irish design wedding rings. Antique and vintage rings. Designer wedding rings. Custom wedding bands. Traditional plain bands. Beaded edges. Engraved rings. Matching rings. Tattooed wedding rings. Depending on your personal preference, your wedding ring should be in a design and style that is comfortable to wear and one that will reflect your personality. 4. Browse stores. Find the best deals by looking around the different jewelry stores to compare the different styles and prices that they offer. 5. Consult an expert. Seek advice from a jeweler with a good reputation who can help you find the perfect wedding ring. Wedding rings are not merely pieces of jewelry. They are significant symbols of a couple's love and commitment for each other so be sure to find a wedding ring that you can treasure forever. Wedding dresses and their importance. A wedding is a solemn occasion. It's also a special event by which two willing hearts and minds unite by an eternal bond of everlasting love. Hence the apparel of the bride and the groom should be thoughtfully chosen to reflect the significance of the grand occasion. The wedding dress of the bride comes in bright, auspicious colors styled uniquely in conformance with the ceremonial importance as determined by the culture and religion, which sanctifies the marriage. Features of a wedding dress. Wedding dresses come in various colors for RMS and styles corresponding to the many cultures and fashions from which they hail. Wedding dresses are characterized by their exquisite grace and charm. Though the term wedding dress usually refers to the bridal gown worn by Western, European brides all the various kinds of dresses worn by brides worldwide come within the ambit of wedding dress. Wedding dresses vary with regions, customs, cultures and religions. The Oriental, the Indian, the Middle East, the African, the Mediterranean and the American all have their respective typical wedding dress codes. Whatever may be the type of wedding dress of the bride a bridal gown, a sari, a kimono, a salwar kamas with wedding veil, it's created to spell elegance and hold the audience and especially the bridegroom spellbound. Wedding dresses are secured from the highly skilled artisans who use the best fabrics and the most intricate embellishments elaborate patterns and designs to create the choicest dresses of the respective culture. The exquisite wedding dresses thus made serve as a reflection of the culture concerned too. Considerations in selecting the appropriate wedding dress. In marriages the appearance of the bride and the groom is of prime importance. The wedding dress or the bridal attire requires special mention in this regard since the bride is the sinecure of all eyes at the wedding and therefore her attire commands utmost attention. The wedding dress should be selected with due care with respect to the following considerations. 1. Checking bridal magazines to get a better idea of what fashions are in vogue. 2. Seeking opinions from select friends on the dress selection and trying to view choices made from their perspective. 3. Thinking over the kind of party to be hosted and the prevailing mood formal or casual. 4. Budgetary constraints set up regarding purchase of dress. Wedding toast tips and advice Wedding toasts per four room an essential role during the wedding celebration. The wedding toast serves as a link between the four armal wedding ceremonies and the less four armal atmosphere of the wedding reception. The wedding toast also allows some members of the family, relatives and closest friends to express their feelings and to wish the couple well. Having toast started from the belief that creating some noise, such as ringing a bell, in this case the clinking of a glass, can cast away evil spirits. The wedding toast may follow a traditional or a non-traditional order. In the traditional order the first toast is the toast to the bride or the toast to the bride and groom. This is done by the best man, a relative or a friend. The groom then responds with a message to his bride the person who made the toast, the couple's parents and a toast to the bridesmaids. 
the best will then respond to thank the groom on behalf of the bridesmaids. At times if the bride has spoken after the groom the best man will thank the bridesmaids. A close friend or relative may then follow with another toast. After this the father of the bride thanks the guests on behalf of his wife and himself and announces that they can begin with the celebration. The non-traditional toast is done to do something different from the tradition. The order may be changed to suit the guests and the occasion. The MC proposes the first toast for the couple. The groom then thanks the MC and the guests and toasts to his bride. The bride thanks her groom and the guests and proposes a toast to her parents and her in-laws. At times a special toast may be done for her in-laws. The father of the bride thanks the bride for the toast, thanks the guests for attending and announces that the celebration may begin. At times the MC may propose a toast to the bridesmaids after which the maid of honor may respond with thanks or propose another toast. The MC may introduce guests who will propose their toasts and announce the beginning of the celebration. Here are some tips when proposing a toast. The bride should be served the beverage first, followed by the groom, the maid of honor, the parents and then the best man. The toast can be done with a sip of wine, champagne or a non-alcoholic drink except coffee, tea and water. If you will propose the first toast, make sure that not only your glass but also all the other glasses are filled before you start speaking. When proposing a toast, raise your glass with your right hand. The glass should be held in a straight line from the shoulder. It's better to compose your own wedding toast. However, if you cannot write a good one you can try traditional wedding toast but make sure to personalize it to include your feelings and thoughts about the bride and groom. Always remember to end a toast with an invitation to the guests to join you and something that tells them what to say in response. These are some things that one should remember when proposing a wedding toast. On the other hand if you received a toast, you do not raise your glass, stand nor sip your drink. You just thank the toasters and although you are not required you may propose another toast. Wedding cake. It's importance to your wedding. Once the wedding is over then the partying begins, it's your reception and what happens there. You cut your cake. Many people order in cakes from large bakeries and wedding shops but they can be made just as nice at home or from a local baker. Many couples have tiered wedding cakes which usually consist of three tiers and a model bride and groom at the top. When choosing your wedding cake designer you should give at least six months notice. Not only does this give time for your fruit cakes to be matured but good cake designers do get booked very quickly. Some take bookings a year or more in advance. Some people stick to the usual fruit cake but others like to be a little bit more experimental and have maybe a flavored sponge or even more daring than that a carrot cake. The new trends in wedding cakes allow brides to have a cake that not only looks good it tastes good too. Brides don't need to settle for the traditional white vanilla cake with the plastic bride and groom on top anymore. So go all out and get cheesecake or crumpets. All that matters is that it tastes and looks good. Wedding cakes are a special part of the wedding. This is where the bride and groom do their first real action together as a married couple they pull together and cut a cake, although it doesn't seem much to the ordinary person but its significance is highly relevant. The wedding cake is unique to all couples they choose their own decorations, style and taste. Usually most of the planning is left to the women when it comes to weddings so the cake usually matches her tastes. Weddings are beautiful and wonderful places to be they are full of happy thoughts for feelings. A wedding is a joyous time for family and friends to get together to celebrate the marriage of two people that they care for so why not celebrate it with cake. We celebrate everything else with cake. Wedding Toast Guide. Standing in front of friends and relatives speaking your wedding toast can be a nerve-wrenching experience. You worry that you will stammer and stutter or worse get so nervous that everyone will be able to hear the shakiness in your voice. Preparation is the key to relieving yourself of some of this nervousness. As far as what you say, that is a bit trickier. In a mixed crowd namely one that includes your parents and in-laws you know that your wedding toast needs to meet a certain standard. There are no rules to follow to create a memorable wedding toast but as long as your wedding toast includes humor, sentiment and is an enjoyable length and pace it will go over well with your guests. All jokes aside, it's true that humor can break the ice and help you to feel more at ease about presenting your wedding toast, however don't just throw out jokes. Is there a story about you and your significant other that has a humorous ending? These go over much better than what you might find in a joke book. 
If you decide to tell a personal story, check with your significant other to make sure it is acceptable. One thing that can definitely ruin a wedding toast is the look of embarrassment or anger on your mate's face. Tell them how you feel showing public sentiment is typically more difficult for men. So just by adding a bit of emotion to a wedding toast will go over well for the groom. You don't have to make it very deep. Just a few words that show your guests how you feel about your mate are sufficient. Mystery is a good element to couple with emotion when giving your toast. By hinting at something that is only known to you and your mate also makes the toast romantic. Keep it moving. You know how you're talking to someone and you have the urge to finish their statements for them because they take the roundabout way to say something. Don't do this with your wedding toast. This is the fastest way to lose your guests and to slow down the reception. It's a good idea to practice your toast several times. Memorize it if that helps. Keep it short. A wedding toast is a speech but a short one. You don't want to put people to sleep or worse have people leaving the ceremony. Practice the toast beforehand and make sure that it's no longer than a few minutes. Wedding bands various purchasing options and how to save big bucks. Wedding bands various purchasing options and how to save big bucks see are the sign of eternal love and their endless circle symbolizes a never-ending bond. Wedding bands are most commonly made of precious metals, including gold or silver. Wedding bands are worn on the ring finger of the left hand because, as rumor has it, the left hand is closer to the heart. Although a plain yellow gold band is the most popular wedding bands are designed in a variety of various gold colors and designs. Some feature diamonds while others are done in solid white or rose gold. For the newlyweds on a budget or for those who simply don't want to spend a fortune on jewelry, sterling silver wedding bands may be the economical choice. So just what is the difference between gold and sterling silver if they are both precious metals? Gold is a metal that is designed to last a lifetime with very little maintenance and never tarnishes. Sterling silver also classified as a precious metal is also designed to last but will require frequent polishing in order to maintain its shine. Sterling silver is much more affordable than gold, but is so because of the regular maintenance required. If left unpolished, sterling silver will lose its luster when exposed to light or the open air for lengthy periods. When selecting wedding bands, it's very important that both the bride and groom be fitted to ensure the proper ring size. It's also important to note that various ring types may fit differently depending upon the band width. Wedding bands that are slim in their design will fit more true to size than one with a thicker width. Rings that are wide or especially thick will fit more snugly and often requires that the wearer move up to the next size. During a customary American wedding ceremony, wedding bands are exchanged immediately following the wedding vows. It's expected that the groom place the wedding band on the ring finger of the bride and the bride does the same for the groom. A final thought to consider when selecting wedding bands is to make sure that it's a design that both the bride and groom are happy with because these rings will be with them for many years to come. If the couple does their research, wedding bands can be found at a very affordable price. Jewelry store sales, internet specialty shops and online auctions are just a few of the ways that the newlywed couple can find a terrific deal on wedding bands and use the money that they save to help plan the perfect honeymoon. Wedding gifts. How much to spend Most adults know how much to spend on birthday gifts or Mother's Day and Father's Day gifts. We have a feel for what is appropriate for baby gifts. But when it comes to wedding gifts how much to spend may not be so easy to determine. We don't want to spend so little that we look cheap but we don't want to spend more than we can afford just to compete with other guests. Etiquette it. With wedding gifts, how much to spend seems to be a question of etiquette. Few of us feel totally comfortable with the rules of etiquette. In other areas of life, society has moved away from such rules. Etiquette books no longer have a place on our bookshelves. Happily, etiquette books or at least those who read them, have a place on the internet. By researching those sites, you can get a better idea of how much to spend on wedding gifts. You will want to remember these points. 1. Negative. Don't try to spend according to what your meal will cost. It is a common myth that etiquette's rule of thumb is to estimate how much your meal might cost and spend that much on a gift. The current 2007 price range for a meal is thought to be between $65 and $150 per person. If two of you will be attending together you would double that amount. This is not true according to etiquette. 
Furthermore, a recent survey shows that only 10% of brides agree with that idea. If followed, it would mean that a couple choosing a casual affair would receive less expensive gifts simply because the reception was casual. 2. Positive. Emily Post says there is no rule you should let your affection for the bride and groom guide you but you should stay within your budget and be financially responsible when you buy a wedding gift. The giving of wedding gifts is not a competition. Your gift should reflect who you are and your relationship to the bride and groom. If you cannot afford to give as much as you would like remember that the gift can be given within the first year after the wedding. Sooner is better, of course. But with that much time you may be able to save enough to purchase the wedding gift you would truly like to give. U.S. National Average. In the U.S., the national averages spent on wedding gifts fall into three categories. Each category is determined by the relationship of the guests to the bridal couple. 1. If buying for a co-worker or a distant family member, guests tend to spend $50 $75 each on a wedding gift. 2. Those attending the wedding of a relative or friend are likely to spend $75 $100 each on a wedding gift. 3. When a close relative or close friend gets married, the wedding gift will probably cost $100 $150 or more per each guest. This may not be appropriate in your town or city. It's good to check with peers and learn what wedding gifts customarily cost where you live. Personal decision. With wedding gifts how much to spend really is a personal decision. Guests may give whatever wedding gifts they choose. You should never be guided by how much you think the bride's family will spend on the meal. You should not be guided by what others might give. Shop for a wedding gift according to what you think the bride and groom will like not according to the price tag. If they have registered at a local store check the registry. If you see an item you want to buy and can afford don't be turned away because it's the least expensive item on the registry. Send wedding gifts and end the competition. Etiquette says wedding gifts are to be sent to the bride's home. They're not to be delivered in person, either to the home or to the wedding location. If wedding gifts are delivered to the wedding location the bride and groom should wait and open them at home in private. Finally, whether a wedding gift costs $5 or $5,000, a well-mannered bride and groom will accept it graciously and appreciate the thoughtfulness. Wedding flowers for a miraculous day. Quick guide to planning your wedding flowers. You've set the special day, and there is so much to do to get ready. The excitement is consuming you to the point that you just want to burst and there are so many preparations that you barely know where to start. So just relax for a minute, take a deep breath and read this quick and easy guide to help reduce stress and help ensure a picture-perfect day with these easy tips from design professionals. First things first, one of the first things you need to do in planning your wedding is to select the dresses. You can call your florist up to a year in advance but you usually won't need to meet with him or her until you know what you and your bridesmaids will be wearing. The bride and bridesmaids gowns will be the key to the wedding and everything will need to revolve around them. Once you've selected the gowns, get a few pictures to bring in. Next pick up two or three of the top bridal magazines, and look through them. Clip pictures of any floral presentations that particularly appeal to you. These will help your floral consultant understand the styles, colors and flower types you like best and design something that will fit your tastes. Choosing a wedding florist. Before calling florists, ask friends five relatives if they have any recommendations. The best wedding florists typically do lots of weddings. So it's likely you know people who have used their services or seen their work. Then call or visit a few of the best florists. Confirm that they serve the locations where your ceremony and reception will be held and inquire about setting up a consultation. You may also want to ask if they have pictures of their work. Quality wedding florists are seasoned professionals who will guide you through the process and help you select what's right for you. The important thing is to get to know your floral designer, discuss options, look at specific flowers and colors together and make sure you're comfortable. This is your special day so you need to make sure you have someone experienced, reliable, and creative to help you plan your special day. Timing. If possible you should have the dresses picked out and a meeting scheduled with your florist about six months prior to the wedding. Remember, you don't want another bridal party or parties to beat you to your florist of choice for a particular date so earlier is better. If you've an indecisive personality or just want moral support, bring a mother or bridesmaid along for input. 
Two heads are sometimes better than one but avoid having too many cooks spoil the soup. Meeting with your florist. Wedding flowers can be anywhere from a few one hundred dollars for an intimate nuptial to ten of one thousands of four dollars an impressive ceremony and reception. A lot depends on the location, number of guests and how you want your wedding to be remembered. Be upfront with your florist about your wishes and your approximate budget. Show the designer your pictures of the dresses or fabric swatches and any magazine photos that you like. Ask about color variations as well as which flowers will be in season and consequently the best value. You should also consider the vitality of the flowers, so that you will have great looking pieces that won't fade over the course of the day. Listen to your florist's suggestions. If you did your research and picked a good one he, she will know from experience how to bring your desires to reality. Enhancing your special day. When considering wedding flowers the key elements are the bridal bouquet, selections for the bridal party and parents, decorations for the church or ceremony and centerpieces for the reception. Consider table coverings woven completely of flowers for the guest card table and discuss ways you might use some pieces at both the ceremony and reception. Many florists will even provide the transportation services. To make the celebration extra special you may want to consider small accent pieces for doorways, pews, cake, altar and even the car. And flowers placed at each table setting are an exquisite touch and encouraging guests to take home the centerpieces will make your wedding especially memorable. Many florists can also provide plants, votive candles, candelabra, linens and other decorations often on a rental basis to save you money. Anything is possible. No matter what you see in magazines or at other ceremonies, remember that almost anything is possible when it comes to wedding flowers. The two wedding flower designers interviewed for this article are both good examples. One is an expert on Hindu weddings, creating gorgeous canopies of flowers under which the couple is married and the other has incorporated feathers, twigs, candles and even street signs into his designs. But more importantly both have mastered the art of working with each bride to create something special just for her. So whether you are looking for traditional or contemporary, lavish or understated, your qualified, professional florist is there to make that day go perfect. After all you only get married ones. Courtesy of http colon slash slash www.phillips flowers.com slash weddings wedding flowers throughout Chicago and the surrounding suburbs with thanks to wedding specialists John Windisk and George Mattingly for their contributions. This article may be republished in its entirety as long as the byline and links above are included. Wedding ideas for brides, five ways to capture your wedding moments forever. As far back as a girl can remember she dreams of her wedding day. She imagines to every last detail things like, what type of wedding dress she will wear what color the bridesmaid's dresses will be and even more importantly, who the perfect man will be who becomes her husband. When that day finally arrives it's the most important day of the bride's life a day she wants to look back on with fond memories four years to come for more and more brides one of the most perfect ways to capture their wedding is to create an instant photo guest book similar to the one created by Adesso Albums. Having such a keepsake, scrapbook or photo album to open up and share with your spouse, family and friends is the best way to capture the wedding day's memory forever. Instant photo guest books are a unique marriage of a photo album and a guest book. To create a photo guest book at a wedding, simply take Polaroid pictures, slip them into your guest book and have the guests write their personalized messages to you the bride and your groom on the guest book pages. This will capture your wedding event instantly in pictures and words and you won't even have to wait weeks to get your photographs returned from your wedding photographer. You'll be able to enjoy it as soon as it's over. However the beauty of these keepsake albums is that it can be used for all parts of your wedding event. Engagement party bridal shower bachelorette party rehearsal dinner wedding reception and even the honeymoon here are five other great ideas to capture your wedding moments. 1. Wish bowl. Here's an idea that won't even cost you a dime. The purpose of a wedding wish bowl is to provide an opportunity for guests to wish good fortunes to follow the bride and groom wherever they go. The idea is to have your guests write their wishes for love and life on little slips of paper and place them into a crystal or decorative glass bowl or vase. You don't even have to buy one if you have a nice one or bowl at home already. For a more formal presentation the slips of paper can be placed into little matching wedding stationery envelopes. The stationery paper and envelopes should match the bride's color theme and or wedding stationery. 
After the wedding events are over the notes can be read and placed into a wedding album or scrapbook while the bowl or vase can be used for the home or decoration. 2. Wish tree. The wish tree theme, similar to the wish bowl is for guests at the wedding to write down their wishes for love and life to the bride and groom. Except instead of the bowl, a tree is used to collect the wishes. There are many types of wish trees. You can purchase metal ones, or fashion your own using blooming branches from a garden or florist or even use a live potted plant such as a ficus tree. Gift boxes can be hung from the tree of your choice and your guests can take a box off the tree in exchange for their wishes. After the wedding events are over the wishes can be taken off the tree and placed in a keepsake box, scrapbook or album. Point three. Signature platter. Wedding signature platters or plates make a unique alternative to traditional wedding guest books. The platter can be plain, decorative or even custom designed and ordered online or from a wedding stationery store. Guests simply sign the platter during the wedding event with a special ceramic marker and after the wedding events are over the platter is fired in your home oven. The special signature platter can be used for serving favorite dishes at future dinner parties as husband and wife or just as a decorative memento of the special gathering. 4. Framed signature mat. Similar to the signature platter, the signature mat is another alternative to the traditional wedding guest book. A photo of the bride and groom often a before wedding photo like an engagement photo is placed in an acid-free mat and mounted either on an easel or table in the entry area of the wedding reception. Guests sign their name and well wishes to the bride and groom on the mat surrounding the picture. The signature mat is then framed for the newlywed's new home. The before wedding photo can be replaced with a wedding photo of the couple before framing. 5. Typewriter Guest Book The typewriter guest book is Martha Stewart's latest discovery for a guest book alternative. Look for an old-fashioned inexpensive typewriter either online from a flea market or thrift shop but make sure it works and set it out on a table in the entry area of the wedding reception. Load the typewriter with long sheets of paper for guests to type in good wishes to the bride and groom along with their name and any sentiment that comes to mind. After the wedding, the page can be tied into a scroll with ribbon or framed along with pictures taken at the wedding. The above five unique ways to capture your wedding moments will help you and your loved ones relive your wedding memories over and over again. Wedding customs around the world want to make your wedding extra special. Consider choosing elements from traditional wedding ceremonies around the world. Here are some of the ways lovers come together for a lifetime in different cultures. You may find some unique ideas to personalize your own day of days. Africa. Did you know that in some modern-day African tribes, the wrists of the bride and groom are still bound with braided grass ties to symbolize their union? Spain. The brides of early Spain got to wear what may be the most beautiful of all wedding headdresses, delicate lace mantillas over the hair with orange blossoms judiciously tucked in. China. The color of love in China is red and the bridal gown was a brilliant red until just recently in that country. Party favors, flowers, candles and so on were also typically a bright and glowing scarlet. Russia. Party favors to express appreciation to the wedding guests include tiny pictures, small candies or other exquisite little items. Mexico. Several nice traditions still survive in old Mexican wedding ceremonies. One custom encircles the bride and groom in a loose lasso made of some pretty soft cord twisted into a figure eight or infinity symbol. Finland. Brides of old in Finland got to wear a crown of gold, which was featured in their dance of the crowns. The crown, a gold-colored wreath wrapped prettily around the bride's head was used to crown another maiden during the dance. Ireland. Instead of the usual white wedding cake, Irish wedding receptions feature a brandy or bourbon-soaked fruitcake heavy on the spice Italy. In Italy the wedding guests toss what they call confetti, which is not colored paper but almonds sprinkled with sugar. You'll almost surely find these almonds gathered into pretty nets tied with a bow and given out as thank yous to wedding guests. Poland. This country originated what's known as the money dance a popular custom which has now made its way into many other cultures wedding parties. The guests dance with the couple and pin money to their clothes to give them a little start in their new life. Germany. A lovely idea for using candles comes to us from Germany. The custom is for the wedding couple to both hold decorated candles which are then lit when the ceremony concludes. Happy wedding. Blessed life. Wedding celebrating that special occasion. A wedding is perhaps the most wonderful and memorable event in a person's life.
It's a time to exchange vows and promise each other that you and LL be there for each other in good and bad times until the end of time. And it's not easy to arrive at that decision of committing to that special someone in this way. The reality is that marriages take a lot of work and perseverance to make them last. So a lot of thought is required before deciding to take the plunge. For most people weddings are the stuff of fairy tales and there is much hope that the marriage will be an everlasting and beautiful one. People start preparing well in advance to make their wedding day as perfect as they would like it to be. You need to take care of every little detail be it the music that will play at the wedding or the dress you'll be wearing. A good way to ensure you don't overlook something is to make a checklist. The wedding showers are usually organized about four to six weeks before the nuptials wedding. The main aim of these showers is to help assemble a trousseau for the bride or help equip the couple's new home. The bride also gets a good occasion to get together with family and friends. The main thing to ensure for both the groom and the bride is that they look good on their wedding day. Clothes should flatter them and fit well. Tuxedos are a good idea for grooms because most men look good in those. The groom should also ensure to arrange for the other accessories that he will need e.g. shirt tie and shoes. The bridal dress needs to be chosen or stitched carefully and should normally have a veil and headpiece that go with it. It's a good idea for brides to pamper themselves with beauty treatments before the wedding day and get their hands manicured. Most importantly the bride should sleep well so that she looks beautiful and fresh on her special day. Remember to plan for the favors that you'll be giving your guests on the wedding day to thank them for their presence and blessings. Gifts such as chocolates, boxes of candy or real flowers are a good idea. If you don't want to buy gifts even a piece of the wedding cake can serve as a favor. If you plan well, your wedding day will be a great start to your honeymoon and hopefully, a lifetime of romance. Wedding list Why is it only special people have special weddings? Weddings are notably known to be one of the happiest day backquotes in a person's life and yet everyone cries at them. The mind boggles. Could it be about losing a son or daughter or could it be that others know what lays ahead if the couple that are about to marry get it wrong when organizing their wedding list leaving them with a huge amount of debt? Wedding list arrangements should be carefully planned well in advance to save any heartache at a later date like when setting up a home or even having to put on hold the sound of tiny feet that pitter-patter in the night because of financial difficulties. This is not the way to start married life what it can be is the start of divorce proceedings if not careful. Weddings planned on a budget are just as special as the wedding that is not. The only difference is that one costs more than the other. An organized wedding list or rotor prioritizing your wedding in stages will prove to be a stress-free task. We are all aware that two heads are better than one so why not have a friend or member of the family sit down with you and write a wedding list too. Then compare each other's notes. You'll be surprised how some wedding essentials are easily overlooked. Remember to itemize all wedding ideas onto a master copy wedding list. Once the wedding list has been finalized with all what's needed for your wedding, Call up your friend once again for some advice on how they think you can save money on the more costly items like the venue hall, wedding cars, reception etc. Cost effective can be effective if done tastefully especially like that the arranging of the bridal bouquet or wedding cake. Homemade cakes are just as tasty delicious and the flowers just as fresh created by your own hand. Other ways of saving on the pennies is to have family members help with the wedding catering instead of a sit-down lavish meal settle for the running buffet don backquote to you just lavish the thought. Wedding invitations can also be specially designed to match the theme of your wedding by you yourself with the help of a home computer which I hasten to add is another great way to find ideas and tips from online wedding sites that give out free information on how to make your wedding day special. The options are endless for the future bride and groom to even out their bank balance to cover the cost. Special weddings are planned by special people who want something special out of life and if that is to have a happy life then that has to be the most special wedding essential to be itemized on that wedding list. Wedding flower guide. Why wedding flowers are important. When you book your wedding venue whether it be a church or registry office garden flowers are usually purchased to be there at your wedding. These are maybe one of the most expensive things for the wedding after the dress and the cake believe it or not the marriage license isn't that big a fee. Usually where you are getting married is covered in beautiful flowers to set the mood although if you have it in a garden then the flowers are already there so you don't really need to worry about that you just have to worry about the rain. 
Not only does the hall or church have to be decorated in flowers, usually the bride carries a bouquet and so do the bridesmaids and flower girls. The general tip is to get flowers that match the theme and color of the dresses. If the theme is Christmas then red and green should be the colors that you're interested in or if it's Valentine's Day then red flowers. If you really want a stunning bouquets for the bride very light colors will accentuate her dress and her beauty taking very little attention of her but still giving her the elegant classy look. Often at the reception parents are given a bunch of flowers in a presentation such as a basket or large bouquet of a large thank you for all the work that they have done with the wedding and a thank you for just being there for them when they needed them most. Other special players in the wedding usually receive gifts as well and all guests take home wedding favors. Instead of purchasing floral arrangements to make things cheaper and more personal you could always make your flower arrangements yourself. Your local library and bookshop will have plenty flower arranging books so you are sure to find something somewhere that will help you to choose a good pattern of colors and styles to suit your wedding. Creating your own arrangement adds that unique touch to your wedding and saves you money at the same time. Wedding flowers are at a wedding to help present the venue in a light mood flowers are there for decoration but be warned if hay fever bothers you stay away, wedding favor guide. What you need to know about wedding favors when guests are invited to a wedding they usually leave with what is called a wedding favor. These are traditionally sugar coated almonds in little net bags with a ribbon tied around them. But these days people are being more unique and creative and starting out with their own design and logo for the wedding favors. Many people theme their wedding and they usually match the theme of the wedding to the wedding favors. For example, if you are have a Christmas wedding then your favors could be little snowmen wrapped up as Christmas presents. Many people are avoiding the traditional almond favors and turning to something a little bit more creative. I've read stories from people who have used long stem silk roses as their favors with their wedding details attached by ribbon. People have used watering cans with tea light candles inside them. Couple have bought champagne flutes and had their wedding message inscribed for each guest to take home and others use picture frames with wedding pictures or details inside of them. The traditional favor is no longer favored. You can purchase your own wedding favors from specialized shops or over the internet. The internet deals greatly in wedding favors and there is something for everyone or you can make your own favors and be somewhat creative as to what they will be. The internet provides vast resources for purchasing your wedding favors online. It's cheaper buying on the internet than it's buying in the shops. Wedding favors are everyone's memory of the couples' special day and most favors are inscribed or printed with details about the wedding the date who was married where they were married and what your part in the wedding was. They're unique gifts that you only get once so why not try and spice them up a little bit and use some imagination. Wedding favors are unique to any wedding so make yours unique beautiful and creative by designing and printing your own wedding favors. It will be cheaper and a lot more fun. Wedding favors featuring lily pads. Brides and grooms continue to come up with new ideas for wedding favors. Some want elegant silver frames. Some look for redneck wedding favors. And some simply want wedding favors that will go with their theme. Lily pad wedding favors. Lily pad wedding favors are wonderful for a garden wedding, especially if there is a garden pond where lily pads grow. A lily pad wedding favor can take several different 4RMS. We went looking for the most beautiful lily pad wedding favor ideas we could find. Here are a dozen of our results. Floating lily pad and flower. This five lily pad wedding favor is made of polysilk and really floats. Tiny acrylic water drops give it lasting morning freshness. Its pink and creamy white colors glow above a dark green lily pad. At a bit over one dollar, this is a cheap but beautiful lily pad wedding favor. Lily pad CD cover. Fill these lovely CD covers with mini CD photo albums of the bride and groom or with their favorite music for a welcome lily pad wedding favor. Lily pad gourmet cookies. Have a local bakery shape gourmet cookies as lily pads with flowers. Tell the baker your color scheme and ask that the flowers be tinted to match for beautiful lily pad wedding favors. Frog soap on silk lily pad leaf. Ponds that are home to water lilies and lily pads are also home to frogs. Place a small silk lily pad at each place and top with a green glycerin soap frog wearing a crown. Such a lily pad wedding favor says at last my prince has come. Lily pad with frog soap. This is a different decorative soap gift. The frog and lily pad both are soap. This is not a cheap lily pad wedding favor but it is quite a conversation piece.
Floating lily pad candles. Water lily candles can float in small bowls at each guest's place. You could light these 2.5 lily pad wedding favors or leave them unburnt for guests to enjoy at home. Chocolate molded frog on lily pad. Lily pad wedding favors can show up in the strangest places. We found these advertised for Harry Potter parties but the lily pad theme would make these perfect for wedding favors as well. Frog on lily pad bouncing balls. On a less serious note, we found these cute two balls. At 50 cents each, they could be combined with another wedding favor to equal a lily pad wedding favor. Lily pad keychain. This one requires a little work. Purchase the kind of keychain that has a place to carry a photo. Print small copies of your favorite lily pad photo on cardstock and slip one into each keychain for a unique lily pad wedding favor. Choose a photo that matches your wedding color scheme so they will look great on your tables. Alternatively, use a classic show off key ring for lily pad wedding favors. Have your lily pad graphic custom imprinted on both sides in colors you choose. Lily pad mint tins. Many places offer to personalize your mint tins. Find one that offers or will print tins with lily pads. Add your names and the date for a memorable lily pad wedding favor. Lily pad bottle labels. Order small bottles of sparkling cider or water with labels featuring your favorite water lily and lily pad. Add your names and date to the label for personalized lily pad wedding favors. Water lily simmer snaps. These unique wickless wax candles are scented with the fragrance of water lilies. As a lily pad wedding favor you could give each guest a package of two simmer snaps. Each package has a beautiful lily pad and flower in full color on the front. When searching for lily pad wedding favors try a variety of words. Lily pads are part of lotus flowers as well as water lilies. Use both terms in your search. Remove the words wedding favors and you may find something unique as we did with the Harry Potter party chocolates. Add frog or other amphibious creatures that might live among lily pads. Wedding favors practical favors favored by all. The bride and groom are now man and wife at the time when the giving of wedding gift favors is appropriate. Now that the perfect wedding ceremony has come to an end tokens of gratitude are presented to family and friends to say thank you for being part of our special day. There are fabulous items in abundance to give as your wedding favors, but deciding what they're to be is the problem. The size of your guest list and budget allowance will most definitely have an effect on what you give as your thank you token. Money will dominate and may well limit your choice of the wedding gift favors. Problems like this are easily solved on backquote t invite anyone or a low puster suggestion but if you intend on sticking around for the big day then bulk buy to cut costs. Going back in time when gift favors came into existence it was believed that the married couple were showered with luck if gift giving took place. By giving a thank you donation to all attendees then it was considered that the bride and groom intentions were to share their luck wedding favors and their beginning became traditional among upper class people 100s of years ago. In Italy and France bonbonieras were given to each guest as wedding favors. Dot. These dainty delicacies were placed into fancy boxes which could be made of porcelain or crystal embedded with precious sparkling stones. Later down the line others followed suit with this practice of giving wedding favors to sweeten up the occasion almonds became popular at weddings. Almonds were supposed to denote happiness, wealth, health and fertility. Even though these almond favors were given in the history years they're very common at modern weddings today all sugared up and candy coated. We now live in a different era where the giving of wedding favors still stands if not with more preferences than the days gone by. It's a very important part of a wedding. Practical thinking on wedding favors makes practical gifts. Useful items that can be used in the kitchen or bathroom are great ideas brought into force in many modern weddings. Not all wedding favors were of this nature. Things like personalized candles and smellies were warmly welcomed by guests. At the end of the day this is your wedding and your word is final on what to give as long as those final words I do took at the altar came from the heart then that alone will stay with your guests as a keepsake in memory for years to come wedding guest books wedding guest books are a wonderful way for guests to send wishes along to the married couple. Guest books can come in all shapes and sizes and in a variety of styles. Whatever the theme or formality of the wedding, there is a perfect guest book for every couple. Guest books come in all types of styles and designs. Some traditional styles are silver and gold embossed and embellished with lace and pearls. 
These types of guest books are wonderful for traditional weddings. They come in white and ivory to complement any bride and wedding colors. If the wedding is outdoor or floral themed, there are many guest books that feature all different types of flowers to coordinate with the theme. Most of the guest books mentioned above come with a coordinating pen for guests to use when signing the guest book. Some come with an elegant ballpoint pen while others come with a feathered pen which gives the guest book an extra touch of elegance. In either case it's best to use a ballpoint pen to avoid bleeding or ink smudging in the guest book. Some guest books come in a complete wedding package that includes a variety of wedding accessories. Some packages include picture frames and albums that create a beautiful coordinating set. The set can also be used to set up an elegant guest book table with the engagement picture of the bride and groom in the picture frame and pictures of the couple in their times before the marriage in the album. This adds a special nostalgic touch to the guest book and allows guests to remember times with the bride and groom. A guest book is an essential element for a wedding. It allows guests to send wishes to the bride and groom for their new life together. In turn, it provides a cherished memento for the bride and groom to always remember their special wedding day. Don't leave before you press like button below and subscribe to this channel. As a subscriber you will receive a new notifications every time a new video is uploaded. Good luck.